Was ist los? It's your German boy, and welcome back to Lucy, the Eternity She Wished For. We're in part two now. It'll probably leave a link to part one in the description. And anyway, I have some thoughts so far. Protag's kind of a dick to this girl. It's like, uh, I don't know, I cannot get in this man's mindset. But then again, I might be biased, all things considered, because honestly, who wouldn't want to find, like, an android girl like that and just take her home, you know? It's, it's the American dream, 21st century edition, you know? Like, who wouldn't want that? I don't know. Like I said, I might be biased for reasons that are... Probably not YouTube friendly, but that's another thing for another day. I like this girl so far. She's cute and all that. But we last left off at this uh, decision here where we can either speak to her or speak to me. It's kind of a no-brainer. So, what exactly are you? You don't have a name? Okay. And what's the PIM stand for? Realization Instrument for ルシーは既存の特化タイプに反し、いつどんな状況でも所有者の that's a mouthful. Versatile. Latest features. I wasn't expecting those words from a piece of junk that could only move its arms up and down a moment ago. In short, your name is Lucy Valentine. The android named Lucy is waiting for my next words. Let's try taking a closer look. What just happened? Oh! Oh, I, I have to click her, okay. Okay. It looks as good as new after the wiping I gave it. Not going near that one. Moving on. It possesses an alluring visage and a slender figure. Now you're starting to sound like me. <laughs> Regardless of gender, I have to admit that it is a truly beautiful design. I spot something on its left ear. A receiver? The robot looks like a teenage girl. Guess that's what they were aiming for. I can tell that a lot of effort had been put into creating this android. And even I can tell it's a premium model. It'd be a waste to throw it away. I have to click her again? Wait, is there anything else I can click on? Just her? Works for me. I take a closer look at the android's eyes. They're blue strikingly realistic, as expected from technology one whole generation ahead of LED lights. Those eyes do look quite real, and quite mesmerizing. Suddenly, those peepers shift over to me. Naturally, I met their gaze. <laughs> Sarete Imatsu 
同じ感覚でものを感知することができます。Is that so? I take it back. Creepy factor is still there. Fuck you, dude. I decide not to look. <laughs> I don't get this, man. They make me feel uncomfortable. Oh, I click her again? Alright. Yo. Okay. Are, are you trying to get me? Come on, game. <sighs> okay, fine. Pull it together. I take a gander at the robot's moist, glossy lips. <laughs> Hard to believe those belong to the same robo clunky voice. Let's see if we can change that. What are you gonna do? What's the deal with your. Oh, okay. I thought that was going somewhere completely different. Okay. So I've got ten choices. No reply. Why can't you use them right now? That makes sense. And the solution is. How long does it take for a full recharge? Okay. I hope the electricity bill doesn't go through the roof. Can't believe I'm acting like a skin flint in front of a robot. I'm gonna have to look up what that word means later. That's just silly. Forget about power saving mode. What's system protection mode? And how do we get to that? Come again? Listen, you talking toaster! You actual son of a bitch! You're lucky I don't fucking pimp slap you, but I gotta finish this. I'm this close to throwing you out. Well, I'll have to take it to a repair shop first thing tomorrow. When does that place open again?
I decide to take a look at the robot's ears. Hmm. I haven't asked you anything yet. I take a look at the body itself. The shirt's that midriff fashion. It's quite exposed overall. Game, are you trying to make me pop one? For a male clientele? The chest area seems a little... Not that I care or anything. Fucking... Fuck. Can you move properly now? Which ones are you talking about? Deltoid, anterior, deltoid, middle, deltoid, posterior, pectoralis, major, cadavicular, pectoralis, major, lateral, biceps, medial, biceps, lateral, biceps. Okay, that's enough. What planet did this thing come from? From now on, try to keep things simple. Can you walk? It's getting better. Fixing it is the only option, it seems. I think I'm starting to get the picture now. Let's do a little recap. First, this android's name is Lucy Valentine. Second, it's supposedly a top-of-the-line model. Third, as of now, it's no better than a talking tin can. And there you have it. No choice. Guess I'll take it in for repairs. I'm not exactly rolling in greenbacks, but if verse comes to verse, maybe I can still pawn it for a little bit of change. It's not like I'll feel guilty about it or anything. Now, who'll actually fix you? Heard of this antique shop that's close to my school, and they do robot repairs on the side. Looks like they're my best bet. I'll pay them a visit tomorrow. But at what time? I guess morning's the best option. I'll leave the robot with them and pick it up on my way home from school. That's it for now. Try to save up some energy for tomorrow. That was pretty fast shutdown. I groan as I reach out to catch its falling body. I carefully place it against the wall and straighten out its clothes. Whew. What a day. I'm totally drained. I hope tomorrow they'll be more peaceful. Got the classic Isaac Asimov three laws right here again. May 3rd? Doctor. Gonna, wait, is this next year or last year? Are we jumping in continuity a little bit? Guess we'll find out soon enough. I've endured this far with just one goal in mind. There hasn't been a single day where I could rest. 
It's become natural to go to bed at the crack of dawn. I don't recall the last time I've been home. Thinking back, it's been quite a long while. Fifteen years. Fifteen years have passed since I started this project, but the end is near. Fifteen years of hard work and determination. After all this time, the fruits of my labor may finally be realized. How long have I yearned for this day? I'd almost given up on you many times, but I persevered and finally succeeded. I barely managed to hold back the tears. I remind myself that it's still too early to celebrate. I must restrain my exuberance. I'm teetering on the brink of complete exhaustion. I have been pushed physically and mentally to my limit. I've become a shell of my former self. The last 15 years have taken a huge toll on me. I cannot wait any longer. That is why. That is why. Please. Please open your eyes. Lucy Valentine. Bit of background coming in right there. Wonder how much more of that we'll see as we keep going through. October 13th. Mish. I shut off the alarm by reflex. I groggily get up to check the time. The clock reads 6.30 a.m. School starts at 8 sharp. It takes 30 minutes to get there. So I have about one extra hour. There's plenty of time left. And I'm still feeling tired. Closing my eyes, I lie back down. I decide to catch some more Z's. After a brief moment, I get back up. I realize that I've been forgetting something. Come to think of it, wasn't there a... I look around for the android. And there it was. Dressed in provocative... Ah! Contain yourself! Dressed in provocative clothing. With a tall nose, luscious lips and hair glinting in silver. The android named Lucy came into my view. Lucy. As I call out to her, I'm greeted by an immediate reaction. It seems to be revving itself up. It mutters something and starts to rise off the floor. Hmm. A robot with looks no different to those of a real person. Also with a pretty face to boot. Um, don't get the wrong idea. Too late. Too late. Just because it's attractive doesn't mean I'm interested. Since it's a robot. In other words, it's like checking out a girl from a magazine. Except that feeling is amplified tenfold in this case. Although technology is improving, a huge gap remains between humans and robots. You can't approach a person like you would a robot, no matter how close a robot can simulate a human being. Machine and man will always be different. As I continue staring at the android, I think to myself, 
What kind of greeting should I be using? Good morning. Did you sleep well? They all feel out of place. I decide to ask about her condition instead. How are your battery levels? Good. Good to know. I let out a yawn as I make my way over to the bathroom. Finishing up my morning ablutions. Pretty sure that's a typo. I dry myself up with a towel as I head downstairs. <sighs> Entering the living room, I spot a couple of plain sandwiches on the table. Grabbing one, I start munching down. It's always the same sandwich from the convenience store just across the street. While chewing, I glance around the living room. My father has already left for work. He always leaves early and returns late at night. Actually, he typically spends the night at work. That's how it is around here. I head back to my room. The android is waiting for me in the exact same spot. Looks like it hasn't budged an inch. As expected from the robots. Putting that aside, I start to prepare for school. While packing my bag, I start to wonder if the robot has any magical self-regenerating abilities. How do you feel? Now that you're fully charged, are you able to walk? Its head slowly turns to face me. Keep things simple, remember? Still? Aren't you a real pain? Anyway, I understand. I'm not even gonna make the attempt to fix it myself. I'm way out of my depth here. I'll see what happens once I take it to the repair shop. Just about finished packing. Only thing left is the android itself. So, how am I going to lock this thing? I think now I can leave it off. I might do that at each of these branching points, depending on how much time there is between them. Again, I'll just try and figure things out as we keep going. But, yeah, like I said, I think I'll just leave it right here. Till next time, this has been the German Idol God. Auf Wiedersehen!